Hello, everyone. This is the report on what I found out uh, when using Bluetooth with the OpenCM904 version C. Uh, this one came from my Darwin Mini Kit that I received recently. Uh, you notice I, I did not use the battery uh, in this case because although I charged my battery, but I couldn't turn it on. But I didn't have the time to trouble what the switch was. So right now I'm powering it through the USB port. And uh, this one here is my uh, BT110A. And this is a servo, the XL320. This is ID1 on the left and ID16 on the right here and it plugged into the board in daisy chain. My Bluetooth dongle is from Gambit Silicon Radio. It's a uh, uh, Bluetooth version 4.0 and I have Windows 64 bit running right now. So I just installed that one with the uh, enclosed DVD that came with the uh, Bluetooth dongle. Nothing special there. Once you install it, what I found was um, we have Bluetooth radio here. It created a personal air network device also. It gives COM30 and COM31, Bluetooth SPP, serial driver. And this one, of course, is not the uh, USB uh, port that is driving the CM904 right now, COM16. Okay. Let's minimize that. So I'm going to the Bluetooth device right now. Clean that up. So right now I don't have anything, so I'm gonna add device. All. Okay, it found the BT110. Okay. So click on next. Pairing started. According to the instruction. Quadruple zero, next. Authenticating, successful, added, finish. And that one show up, uh, let's see. It haven't finished up here yet. So I don't see it show up as which port yet. And then, Double click on it. You say serial port profile and double click on it and a service in action. Com port created successfully. And uh, let's see. So now I see that the BT110A is now COM32. All right. So that's done. Now let's see if it's connected. So I have my uh, Aplus Motion version 2. And I'm going to go to connect. And go to 32. It has an auto connect and they're going to try all of the com port until it finds one but we won't do that i think 32 let's see how it works it's connecting uh in the video you see that the blue line is solid now and it's a serial port connection a little bit well but i don't know it does that the connection does take some time it's still blinking now I have used uh, Zigbee a lot from the robot system, and uh, they seem to connect a little bit faster than that. But then, you know, with Zigbee, Zigbee you lose packets sometimes. So I guess Bluetooth is a step up, but it takes some time to connect. Let's see if it does it. Still blinking.
Oh. Hey. Ray, finding success. Com32 bought at 5700 and is connected. Okay. So, uh, because my robot here is definitely a custom robot. <laughs> so we have that. Go to OpenCM904. Add my ID1 and XL320. Click OK. And add another one. So it's starting from 25, so I go to 16. OK. Hold on. You see, it's all, they all use the virtual uh, symbol now. Okay, load it up. This was at now. So I can control left click both of them. Go to positioning. And I'm going to center them and then just use the good old from uh, right the robot pose to the robot. Let's see if they do. Well, they're already at uh, center, so won't do anything. So let me move down to, uh, let's say, min. Push them over. Here we go. We're turning to min. All right. So let me go to max. Push them over again. Okay. So they seem to be working fine. They have a sync mode. So I'm in sync mode now. So whatever I do on the PC supposedly kind of go together. So I'm going to center. Eh, sync mode is kind of tricky. It doesn't quite go as uh, synchronized as possible. See that? Oh, it goes there where it can and still take some time to get there. Let's go all the way to max. Yeah, it tends to slow down kind of the end a little bit. What it does. Okay. So sync mode here is kind of nice, but I don't know. Uh, we don't have more sophisticated robot. Uh, I'm not sure we're going to be working. So synchronize off. Click the center now and push it over. Okay. At least it seems to be working fine. I'm going to pause for a while. I'm going to swap out and put a, a B210 here. And then I'm going to try to redo, redo all this again. Okay, stay tuned. So, uh, hello there. Well, and I'm back. This one here is a B210. It comes with the Darwin Mini Kit. Okay. So, I'm still back here. It's still on COM30 report. So, let me see if I can pull it. Oh, I forgot. That won't work anymore. So, let me close this one completely. Just in case, because in my Bluetooth, I need to add the device. You found it. Put in triple zero. I mean, quadruple zero. It's added successfully. Click finish. But if you remember, this still didn't show the right COM port yet. So, at least with my software, uh, it's a CSR Bluetooth dongle. I have to double click, go to serial port profile, and then it created service, and then they successfully. All right. Let me go back. So now, if you go to manager, you see it's COM33. Okay. Minimize all that. Let's see if I can get to my, my first motion. So, uh, let's see. Push it over here. So let's try to connect everything again. So 33 right now is going to be my BT210. Let's try and connect. Okay, you notice when solid, and then it say, ah, oh, serial port not unavailable again. So I don't know. Anyway, it takes some time to connect, like for the uh, BT110A. Yeah, let it run here so that you guys can see how long it takes to connect. 
Hold on, I could have paused it a little bit. Oh, getting better now. Aha, uh -huh. it's solid. It's connected. Com 33, bond rate 57, 300. Well, good. I go to custom robot again. I had to go through the routine. I should have saved it the previous one. Okay. All right. Okay, so my custom robot. So I'll do a quick check again. Positioning. So everybody center. You notice it just gives a degree. So minimum, minus 150 degree. Push it. And it's moving good. Max. Right oppose. It pretty much behave as should. And let's say we're going to have better sync mode with uh, BD210 or not. Min. You can see slowing down the slope, uh, adjusting at the end. But... Oh, this is not scientific here, but it looks like B210 may be doing good job a little bit better. Slowing down, trying to go to center, let's say. Let's try center now. Yeah, always slow down at the end. That probably have to do with all the slope and the punch that uh, the default values there. All right, so I think it's a look at your shit. My next project is figure out why the switch didn't work, so why I couldn't use my batteries. Bye.